Welcome back. We have another book review for you today. Today we will be looking at The Sacred Pulse by April Feet. And I really enjoyed this book. I'll say my biggest critique was the title. It just took me a while to figure out what was going on. Sacred Pulse, I just didn't quite understand it. I know the author, and I know this wasn't the original title. But the idea of the book is thinking about rhythm, thinking about music. This is the analogy that there's a, a rhythm or a pulse of creation of the way of God and that often we're living off beat. We're living in a way that's out of step with the, the rhythms of, of creation, of the creator, and part of what she's trying to do is take a look at all the different areas of our life and the different ways that we're being invited back into that rhythm to be with the sacred pulse of creation and of our creator. So really a good book, but yeah, just the title threw me a little bit. One of the best things is that April is a fantastic storyteller. So she brings in elements of her own life and her own journey as a way of thinking about what it looks like to actually live this out. She looks at things like mealtime or gardening and the, the rhythms of our life, the seasons, but also the specific moments that, that come into our life and what does it look like to actually receive these as a gift and as an invitation to walk in the way of God and not in the hustle and bustle and busy and overwhelmed life and pace that we often set. She particularly makes a difference between what we call chronos and kairos time. So the chronos time, which is the, the time of one second, two second, three second, four second, and kairos is the, the moments that actually are significant. So you can have times where it seems like there's a lot that doesn't happen and then there's just a moment that feels like it's the right time. So that's the kind of timing that we're that she wants to talk about and how often we're so obsessed with you know our to-do lists or moving time forward one step at a time that we aren't paying attention to the right time or the time of season or the the rhythm the pulse of what God is doing in our lives. And so with that and with that kind of imagery of music, she brings a lot of different areas of life into focus for us. I particularly liked her chapter on snow days and how snow days used to be a gift. Everything stops. It's sort of like a forced Sabbath for us all to rejoice in. And now with technology, we've turned it into a an alternate work day for the kids, for ourselves, and we don't receive the gift of being forced to stop. I appreciated that both because I'm re I read this in December and now it's January and there's been a lot of snow and realizing we just never stop. And what a gift it was um, and is to be able to just stop and breathe, um, but also just how that's true of most of my life. I'm always moving. And that there's, it takes something big, like a snow day, to actually force me to stop and breathe and receive life as a gift from God. I also really appreciated her exploration of the church year and how that kind of pulls together this whole kairos Kronos distinction about sacred times and the importance of, of setting our lives along the rhythm of what God is doing and how the church calendar does that. And also the importance of celebration. She has a whole chapter on that. And I think it's so important because we often want to either start with critique, what didn't go well, or as soon as we get done, we want to move on to the next thing because we're trying to go one, two, three, one, two, three. And celebration is part of the rhythm of God's people, and it's a gift for us. In fact, it's a joy and a calling to celebrate. So I really enjoyed this book by April Feet. It's The Sacred Pulse. Again, the title threw me a bit, but it's about that thinking about the rhythm, thinking about going with the beat or with the rhythm of what God is doing and not wanting to live our lives according to our own rhythm, but according to 
his rhythm and all the ways and different places in our life that God is inviting us in to that. So check it out and pick it up and read it. Thank you for your time today. If you like the way I think about theology and books, please consider picking up my own book, Our Only Comfort, which is a set of devotions through the Heidelberg Catechism. I also have a new book coming out called Rooted, Growing in Christ in a Rootless Age. When that pre-orders are available, that will be in a link below. If you have books that you would like me to read and review, please let me know in the comments and like this video and subscribe to this channel for more book reviews. And thank you for your time.